Phase one recently introduced a, a long-awaited new camera body. It's been the, about, what, 70, 80 years? <laughs> it's <laughs> not quite that long. <laughs> it's been it a feels long like it. time. It feels like it. We've previously done an intro uh, when they launched the camera system, and for the last several weeks, I've had the opportunity to shoot with it and work with it. And let me say this, it does work compared to some of the frustrations that we used to share specifically with self-timer and mirror up and some of the firmware things that happened, they've really, really gotten this baby down to where this it has to be. This is the XF. This is the XF. Okay. So this is the camera and with the 40 to 80 millimeter zoom lens on mm -hmm. it. Let me tell you, I, this is a, one of the best lenses I think that Phase has ever made. Leaf shutter lens, um, mm -hmm. it's just an incredible, made by Sh with Schneider, so mm -hmm. it works. Easy zoom, but it is heavy, heavy mm -hmm. as a beast. Mm -hmm. But let me show you some of the cool things that, that you know I like about Phase. First off, give a feel for the grip so you can you know, kind of take a look at how wow. they've done things. It's solidly built. It's shaped like a human hand. It actually feels, <laughs> it, it fits now. That's wonderful. So it does a really, you know, just. And that's an impressive top L LCD. Correct. And it's a touch screen. It's a touch screen. So let's watch, if we, hopefully the camera can see this. But if you want to change something, and you, you can see this in sunlight. In the article I have pictures of the touch screen in sunlight, so you can see what it's like. But if you just touch the, the part you want, you go to the selection you want, and let's just take uh, shutter speed in that case. And all oh, you have dials and buttons, so it's very simple. You just touch and move to the selection you want. Go ahead, try it yourself. So press TV, I can now go to P. Oh, that's Exposure that's really compensation fast. works the same way. Exposure compensation, and then I use this to change it. Yeah. So you have, you yeah. have, once again, with just like the phase backs, you can Ooh, use the sorry. touch back. I've got three wheels. Three wheels. So they one, one, one wheel here, one wheel here, and one, one wheel, wheel here. there. All programmable. Mm -hmm. So you can program them for what you want. Plus you've got the buttons similar to the backs. So right. that you can navigate th that way. So if you have gloves on, for example, you can navigate. And you have the, the ubiquitous four programmable buttons Correct. here. And it's touch screen. It's touch screen. You can also set and control all the functions for the camera right from the back so you can do all the camera settings. So finally, the camera and the back are talking to each other 100%. 100%. There's two batteries, one in the handle, one in the back. Right. One if in the grip. One in goes dead, say in the grip, the one in the back takes over. Mm -hmm. You can remove while the camera's still powered on mm -hmm. the battery and put the new one in. Cool. They seem to last. I mean, I've shot a lot with it. I seem to have pretty good battery power with it, so mm -hmm. I haven't really... I have four batteries, and I've been out all day, and we basically did most of the day on just two, and eventually just put right. one extra one in. Big prism, removable. Yeah, yeah, let me tell you about that. This is one <laughs> of the things that... Uh, of course, it's a little hard to, to do, but look at that. All right. So this is something... What I see here, and of course, this is the mystery. And you got to be thinking what phase one is thinking. Look at all the contact points right, right up there. Right. Okay. There's a few little things going on here, but uh, there's no interface really that I see right now with these contact points. But I can see that, you know, they must have something in mind. But it all snaps together. That's nice. Look just how easily that works. One power on switch, one power off switch. Okay. A customizable button. So you can set that for rear focus, autofocus, like mm -hmm. I have it set right here. Bottom line is, it's a sweet camera. How much? We're we're up there again in the <laughs> thirty thousand plus range. Right. This is I have the uh, fifty megapixel IQ three CMOS uh, system uh, chip in here. Mm -hmm. uh, very much, pretty much like the Leica we've talked about previously. Mm -hmm. It just takes great photographs. Mm, sure. And it's live view, so live view capable. Uh, you can control the camera and touch it from here, plus the tethering capability is there. So, you know, it's a well thought out. It is built to take a, uh, there's no, no plastic in this thing whatsoever. No. Phase, phase one builds things not only for the professional photographer and consumer market, prosumer market, but also for industry, for various militaries. Uh, a lot of, I, we were at their factory, you you were an ex-vice president of FaZe, yes. you, you know the drill, uh, but I was very interested to see, they do a lot of things, the circuit boards to mill spec. Well, you know, we, can, we put up on the original article, 
uh, a breakout of what goes in this. And the circuitry, the way it's all wrapped around in here, everything is done is just beautiful. You notice everything has a grommet. Right. Wonder where that came from. <laughs> so that, that was the suggestion you made years ago, but everything is grommetized and grommetized. You know, <laughs> and you know, little flip doors. So was, you know, the connectors yeah. have flip doors. Engineering-wise, brilliantly mm. thought Brilliant. out. Okay, yeah. so uh, it's a nice. No, camera finally, system. so you know, for for many years now, well, Phase One bought Mamiya. Essentially, it's now a wholly owned uh, subsidiary yep. of. Uh, well, it's part of Phase One, uh, but they were saddled with the Mamiya camera that goes back more than a decade, yep. maybe even 15 years. Uh, and it was a camera that was constantly being updated and revised, and it never quite was as smooth and fluid and integrated as a uh, bespoke camera. Correct. This was b designed by a group of engineers who had a mission, and they started with a clean slate. Yes. I doubt there is a single component in this from the original Mamiya series. No, there, there isn't, but it, you know, it is nice. They've designed it so they've had L brackets and accessories from before, they still fit. So the same specs basically right. on the outside. Work and of the course way. it's the traditional Mamiya uh, lens mount. And there's secret ports, but this is obviously for the air grip that they're gonna be releasing on right. this, and it just kind of works. What I think is interesting, and once again, it's something that I really appreciate, is typical Danish engineering, the, the whole thought process of the simplicity. For example, with all cameras, like even the Sonys we've been working with, if we want to change to go to, say, autofocus continuous, we've got to push a function knob, twist the back dial, select it, and push the mm -hmm. center dial. And in this, all you got to do is just decide, I want to you know, pick that, pick that, and it's that. Done. And you're done. So nice. it's all very, very fast, accurate touch. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully some of the other camera makers will eventually see this kind of concept. And you know, it's interesting because one of the mistakes that everybody makes is we all see cameras and lenses and various tools in the photographic universe through the filter of our own yeah. needs. Yeah. And a lot of people will say to me, yeah, so what if I have to press this button, go to this dial, turn this, press that? It's not a big deal. No, but you're not a working fashion photographer who's probably burning, you know, $2,000 an hour in terms of models and makeup artists and yep. costume people. So mass, being able to master the tool is one thing. Being able to get to the, th you know, things that you need to control quickly is another. No, if you're a landscape photographer and you've got all the time in the world and you're waiting for the light to change, you know, so yeah. what? So, yet yeah, we, I think everyone needs to appreciate there are multiple audiences for a product. And that's one of the challenges that camera designers, camera makers have is which constituency are they aiming the product at? And so what they do is they aim it at a mid-ground. Now, by going to a mid-ground, some manufacturers miss Yes. Okay? And some cam some manufacturers actually hit it. And from what I've seen so far from the XF Phase 1 camera, they hit multiple targets. One of the things that I, of course, in all kind of like disclosure, you know, I was uh, vice president with Phase 1 for uh, 13 years. 13 and, years! And I had a very good run with them, <laughs> so I don't want to sound too biased, but mm -hmm. one thing that I'll say about Phase 1 management is they never lose focus to what their market is. Mm -hmm. They're not swayed easily by opinions or, oh my gosh, somebody else just came out with this camera. They know where their market is, they make a product for that market, and they continually serve that product, and they do very, very well in that market. Mm -hmm. And I know there's an awful lot of people very, very happy now that this XF camera is out there. And well, let's well be honest. Done. Let's be honest. A lot of pros <clears throat> were buying phase backs and putting them on Hasselblads. Yes, Hasselblad Simple. made a very good camera body <laughs> compared to where uh, the old uh, DF camera was. But right. Times have changed. Times have changed. And this, is great. this has a lot of expandability, and I'm told that we're going to see some you know, new expandability mm -hmm. uh, and uh, new features added, a lot of it through firmware. So. No, it's, it's great oh. to see because I remember, and this is now going <laughs> back as far as maybe five, six years ago, uh, the fellow who used to be uh, the chief scientist, Klaus, at, uh, yeah, Klaus Mulgaard at Phase 1, he's no longer with them. He's moved on to... The big A. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but nevertheless... <laughs> Um, we would go shooting with him, and I remember 
Close! Yes. What? Ah, the thing doesn't work. All right, I'll send a text to the factory. <laughs> you know? But it was always fun with Klaus, yeah. you could play poker with him. And he doesn't have a very good poker face, so you could kind of say, wow, it'd be cool. Like, oh, would that really be something you'd like to see? <laughs> yeah. And you know, they come, hmm. <laughs> you know, so. Anyway, this is the result of a lot of brilliant people working very hard mm. to put this together. It's and impressive. I think phase one uh, finally gotten something here where they had the back end and they had the front end. They were just missing the middle and they've mm -hmm. got that and they've got a future with this middle yeah. now. No, yeah. pleased to see it. Yeah, it's great. Thanks. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Thanks, guys, and uh, have some fun with the phase. Try it out, if nothing else, just so you can experience it. And we'll see you on the Lunas Landscape.